So what happened to the scholars that they didn't do this, that they didn't pay attention? Okay, why were they so bad? Well, here's our first big clue. Look at this. Same book, okay? Now we're at his preface at page 18. Look at this. Just dripping with self-righteousness, okay? Right here, see? With respect to the very large number of writers who have it occasionally exercised their talents of versification in translating small portions of the Psalter, or even one single psalm, I have felt considerable doubts whether their dulcetory labors ought to find place in a work like the present. In other words, it's almost beneath his dignity to bother to list. That's what went wrong with the scholars. If it's poetry, it can't be scholarly. Really? Did you ever stop to think that perhaps meter has another purpose besides poetry? And if it's poetry, why does that automatically mean that it's not scholarly? Do you realize how much more intelligence it requires to fit the right words into just a specific number of syllables than just to say it any old way like you verbose bastards of the 19th century were busy doing? I swear, I want to strangle them. It's gone reading right here, right here, right here. But, not to mention that magnificent burst of genuine feeling by Richard Crawshaw. See page 376. Such names as Bacon, Milton, Don, Watton, Herbert, and Addison could not be passed over without the appearance of disrespect. See, that's all these guys care about. They who praise themselves by themselves are not wise. See, the Bible doesn't matter to these people. What matters to them is their own opinion of themselves. And oh, poetry is, you know, that's what women do. So we, we, you know, we scholars can't pay attention to it. So if the Bible is being versified in translation by somebody who can clearly read the original Hebrew and Greek, so it should be scholarly enough, you jerk-offs. Well, we're not going to pay attention to that because it's poetry. This is why Trump got elected. The same kind of stupid thinking, or actually non-thinking, and self, pat my back, pat my back, see how good I am. You know what happens to you when you do that? You lose the ability to discern truth. That's what's so sad about this. For a century and a half, because this is 1852. We could have known what I've been talking about from some Mr. Dr. So-and-so with all these initials after his name. So why didn't he know it? And why does the brain out know it? Because it was beneath him to bother to count the syllables. You get that? Look at this. Their dulcetory labors ought to find place. Considerable doubts whether their dulcetory labors ought to find a place in a work like the present. In other words, I'm too important to deal with poetry and counting syllables. You jerk off. So 160 years of Bible scholarship we could have had we don't have because jerks like this guy think, oh, well, syllable counting is something, you know, that you only do for poetry. Women's work. Yeah, and so a woman found it, huh? Actually, um, not just a woman. But right now, starting the ball rolling, 
happens to be a woman and I honestly don't care about the female thing I'm a misogynist if anything but honey you want to be antagonistic to the word of God on the grounds that oh it's counting syllables can only be for poetry and and that's not something a smart person would do really and then he mentioned some very smart people Bacon who didn't even believe in Christ really I mean sort of did and then backed off Milton, he's the guy who wrote Paradise Lost. Don, I forget what he wrote. Walton, I forget what he wrote. Herbert and Addison, I forget what they wrote. But they weren't dummies. They could read the Hebrew and the Greek. Milton in particular. I think he was like a defrocked priest or something. Okay? They could not be passed over, duh. And the Bible shouldn't be passed over either just because you count the syllables. Did you ever stop to think that God might have a real important reason for you to count the syllables? Don't you have to count the items off on your hand when you go to the grocery store? Okay, I got 10 items to buy on my list. And you put your list in your purse or something. Or it's a little too far away. And you're too lazy to open up your list to see what was on it. So you think, okay, there were 10 things. And you happen to remember five. So now you know you got five more things to remember. And you play a game with yourself. Whether you're going to open up the list. Or you're going to try to remember the five things without looking at the list. We all do that. It's human nature. Okay, but you're missing out on the divine nature. By paying too much attention to the appearance of disrespect. So the only reason these poetry things are included is because I don't want to be accused of disrespect. Even though I'm disrespecting you by my, my, you know, contemptuous wording here. And their undoubted reputation. See, all they care about is respect and reputation. The word of God means not a thing has paved the way for the admiration admission of others perhaps more questionable pretensions so who's being pretentious this guy writing this paragraph i may add that the publication of mr holland's valuable work the something or other let's go look the psalmist of britain in 1843 seemed to me to indicate that the public felt an interest look see this is what i've been saying all along the public felt an interest in what he content contemptuously calls the small and scattered poetical poetical thingies where he's now quoting one the public felt an interest yeah public is interested in bible and if the bible has x syllables translate those syllables in english so we can see closer to what the original meant yeah they had it in the public the uneducated public had an instinctive remembrance Oh, you know, the syllable counts are important. Yeah, because their ancestors were a thousand, two thousand years prior. That's the only way they could get Bible, was by orally memorizing it by syllable counts. So, residing in your DNA, that, as it were, racial memory of needing to count the syllables of Bible in order to have it proper, that's why the public felt an interest. Oh, but the hoary heads didn't care. Oh, it's paltry. It's not scholarly. We're going to ignore it. But I'm going to show what a nice person I am. And in order to avoid the appearance of disrespect, I'm going to include these metrical translations. See, here we go. Metrical translations. He is condescending to put the metrical translations I've been showing you. He's been condescending to put them in because, after all, they are metrical translations. And that means that they're intended to reach the public because the public felt an interest. Yeah, the public turns out to be smarter than the writer of this book. 
who is condescending to include the metrical translations. That tells you why the scholars of the 20th century don't understand the importance of syllable counting in the Bible. Right there. There's your answer. And I'm now going to take you to one of the guys who did contend that it was important and watch how he screws it up. That comes next.